So I was originally going to cover this analysis when this coaster was actually named, but because that doesn't seem like it's going to be happening anytime soon, I might as well do it now. This has been a very interesting project. At first, we thought it was going to be a exact Blue Fire clone uh, based on some websites like Parks, but then uh, as the day went on, DreamWorld eventually announced it, and it came out that it's actually going to be a multi-launch, as they called it, but it's going to be a triple launch coaster. Uh, has a triple launch system, like you would find on something like uh, Star Trek Operation Enterprise, uh, and it also have a spinning gondola on the back, uh, something like you would find on an extreme spinner like Time Traveler, but on the back seat, so just something like. Uh, obviously backwards and rivals but with a spinning seat which is absolutely awesome and I really like that I really like how they basically took blue fire and uh, the exact kind of uh, layout and then added a triple launch added a spike and also added some really funky refacing seats now in terms of where the coast is going to be going inside the park it's going to be on the same location as the old river rapids ride and Eureka Minor used to be and kind of surprisingly it definitely does fit well uh, with Buzzsaw and that uh, path right next to Tower Terror 2 which is very surprised about definitely fits well in that spot so let's go into the layout shall we and let's start off with that three uh triple well, triple launch system as we stated earlier uh, so it starts off the ride going to that first element there and it goes halfway and then comes back down uh, backwards into that spike uh, which then uh, you kind of it's like a dead end so you come up the spike and then it goes pretty much all the way up and then comes back down and does the full complete launch yet again um it's with normal the normal blue fire clones they're uh, just one single launch and they think they go to from 62 0 to 62 in uh 2.5 seconds so this one definitely be more probably more of a weaker launch but i think it'll definitely more of a unique experience and definitely one that australia has not uh yet seen yet so after that launch, it's just basically your normal average blue fire layout, starting off with that weird sort of banked uh, hill, and then going through that loop and a twisted horseshoe roll, and to finish off the ride with a inline twist, uh, which I bang an inline twist, which is apparently one of the best inversions on a Mac coaster. Now what's interesting about this ride is it's actually going to have slightly better uh, stats than the other blue fire clones. Uh, so it's going to be a little bit longer, it's going to be a little bit faster, we're not too sure about the height, uh, stat yet, but I uh, hopefully we'll be getting that very very soon. But uh, the thing is, it's a little bit faster, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be a little bit taller. I don't know how uh, it's gonna do in pacing then, in terms of the other Blue Fire clones, uh, but we're just gonna have to find out. But yeah, this is an awesome coaster and one that Dreamworld's been really needing for a while. They still haven't got a standout full circuit roller coaster, and this is definitely definitely the one they were needing. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.